Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn about five important filter functions in DAX which are related to all. All, all accepts, all selected, all no blank row and all cross filters. So to start with that, first I will import some data source. So don't go anywhere to practice all those functions, just use the sample data sets, whatever is available in your Power BI desktop. For that, you just go to Elf, Example and Sample Data Set. Click on this Load Sample Data. Here you can observe financials informations are available. So I will import this financials information. So your data set has been loaded in your Power BI desktop. Okay, so first let's go to a new page. I will start with all function first. We can use this all function on the table itself or on a column itself. Let's see the difference in the practical examples. In this data set, we have this sales value. Uh, year column is showing as a number field. So just change this summation to this don't summarize. New measure. First, I'll show you how we can use the all functions on a column. Just write all underscore taste and use the calculate function. Within that calculate function, sum of this sales value then comma all here you can observe we can provide table name or column name and comma the column name okay so i will select this year column first okay and close the bracket so your first function has been created now here i am using the column field let us create another measure the with the table using the all function so that side by side we can see the difference all underscore table calculate sum of cells value comma all and I have only one table so I will select financial close the packet your two measures are in place. Let's create one small report. Just select year, all table and all test. To see the difference, let us create some slicer beside this report. For example, um, product. Okay. Let us create another report with these two measures. I will select product, all table and all test. Let's start with this report. Here you can observe, I have used this all test where we are using the year as a filter column. And here I'm getting this value that means it is always showing the total value for all the years that means it is not considering any filter year filter in this calculation when I'm selecting all table all table I'm passing this directly this table I'm not adding any other columns that means it will always display the total sales value that means it is not considering any filter conditions but you are not able to understand uh, okay here is also the same value here is the same value then how will you define the difference between these two measures come to this report here you can observe for this product all table I am getting this value whereas in all test I am getting this value what does it mean by this let us create one another slicer using this year field. If I select this year, 
Okay, let's change this year to list. Now, if you see for this product, we have this all test value. If I select any year, we are not observing any changes for this product. That means here year column has not been considered as the filter conditions. Okay, but if I select this year condition, here also I am seeing the same thing. That means year condition is, has not been considered. Let us uncheck this. If I select this product from this slicer, you can observe for this all test function, you are getting the same value. That means year column is not considered as a filter for any of this report. Product column is considered, but in all table, Product column has not been considered as a filter column. So I hope you understand how this all function is behaving on a table and on a column. Now we will understand how all selected function is working. Okay. First create one measure with this all selected functions. All selected equal to calculate function in the same way you can create that Selects, comma all selected here also similar type of syntax first I will select this year column okay my measure has been created let's create one small report and all selected here you can observe uh, it is it is behaving in a similar fashion in our all function. Let us put this all function beside this and you can observe there is no difference. Then why do we need this all selected functions? What is the difference? Let us create one slicer with this year column. Let's change it to list value. If I select it 2014, here is the difference. That means if you don't have any external filter, that means the slicer kind of filter or filter conditions, your all selected function will behave like this all function. Then there is no point for this extra separate function. But here is the point. If you have any external filter or external slicer like this and if you select any value from this uh, external filter area and you can observe for all test function there is no difference but for all selected function it will provide you the exact sales amount for this particular year. So whenever you are using this all selected functions it will remove the context filters using in this query whenever we'll apply any external filter conditions in this report. Let's proceed with the next function all except. First, just create one measure all except and just I'm using the same way of creation and all except here you can observe we need to pass the table name then the column name select the financial comma year column okay so your measure has been created now we'll create one report year let us create one slicer for that. For example, product. Here you can observe for 2013, I'm getting this uh, value. For 2014, I'm getting this value. Okay, this is fine. If I select this product, so nothing has been changed. That means this all except function will work only for filter condition whenever we are applying on this year column. So 
if we apply any other filter condition it will not work if you select the product from here it's not changing if you select this one it's not changing now if you add this product column in your report you can observe you can getting this for this product for 2013 whatever value for this product also it has a same value that means only year column is working as filter conditions other filter conditions will not work so i hope you understand the all except function how it is behaving differently from the our other two functions now we will check how all cross filter function is working let us create another measure calculate sum of sales comma all cross filter here you can observe we need to pass the table name only just click on this and save your measure now we'll create one simple report with that i have already created some slicer it's simple that we, we can observe okay this all cross filter we are getting this total sales value which is already available in our all function then why do we need this all cross filter here is the change if we select some segment from the slicer you can observe no change if you select any product no change and obviously if you select any year there will be no change that means when we are using this all cross filter function it will remove all the filter conditions from the columns so it will give you the complete total sales value no filter condition will be applied on this measure so that is the main difference for this all cross filters with the other all functions now we will learn how we can use this all no blank row functions for that purpose i have created two sample tables so table 1 for that i have this four row for this table 1 i have four rows okay and table 2 i have three rows let me check the relationships okay so it is joining with this id column now go back to this section now we'll create two measures one with this all no blank row and another one with this all filter functions first just click on this table one new measure all no blank row and count rows here i will select this name column from the table 2 now create another measure so give the name as all count rows and i will select this name column from the table 2 now select this two column and check the value here you can observe it is coming 3 and it is coming 4 why it is coming 3 i am in this table 1 where i have the sales value so this is near to like a fact table but this is considered as a dimension table and in this dimension table it has only 3 rows now whenever this table 1 and table 2 are joining at that time the for the table 2 it is not finding the corresponding record for this fourth row that's why it is returning three that means all no blank row that means for table two it is considering as a blank row so it is counting three but when i'm using this all function it is considering four rows for the corresponding name column however there is no corresponding records for the fourth row in this table two but still it is considering the four it is not able to ignore the other blank row just like this all no blank row functions so from this video i hope 
it is already clear to you how you can use this five all related functions all function all selected all except all no blank row and all cross filter functions thank you thanks for watching